RCDIY. Stay safe and have fun. Welcome to another video from RCDIY.ca. This video will cover how to use an RPM sensor in OpenTX to calculate and display a heli's head speed. Please read the documentation for details on what I will be showing you. A link to the documentation will be placed in the description below this video. To start, we will go over what head speed is and how that relates to revolutions per minute of the motor. We will then look at the calculations involved to convert the motor RPM into head speed and how that calculation is adapted to work with OpenTX. And finally, we will do a hands-on simulated setup using a transmitter and companion. The head speed of a heli is the RPM of the main rotor. The motor is linked to the main rotor using gears. If the RPM of the motor is known, then using the gear size information, the head speed can be calculated. To get the RPM of the main motor, an RPM sensor is used. There is a link to the documentation on how to set up an RPM sensor in the description below this video. The main gear is attached to the main rotor and the pinion gear is attached to the motor. Because the pinion gear has fewer teeth than the main gear, for every one rotation of the main gear, the pinion gear rotates a number of times. If we know this ratio, we can calculate the head speed. The head speed is determined by taking the motor RPM and dividing it by the gear ratio. The gear ratio is calculated by taking the number of teeth on the main gear and dividing it by the number of teeth on the pinion gear. In this example, the motor is rotating at 10,000 RPM. The gear ratio is 11.57. These values give us a head speed of approximately 864 revolutions per minute. Now that we know how to calculate the head speed using the motor's RPM and gear ratio, we can adapt this information for OpenTX. The OpenTX RPM telemetry sensor has a number of configurable parameters, but does not explicitly have a gear ratio parameter. What it has instead are configurable blades and multiplier values. The RPM value that enters the OpenTX RPM sensor is divided by the blade value and multiplied by the multiplier value. We can use these to calculate the gear ratio and head speed. The head speed and gear ratio equations can now be rearranged to have head speed equal to the motor RPM multiplied by the number of pinion gear teeth divided by the number of main gear teeth. In OpenTX, the number of main teeth is entered into the blades field and the number of pinion teeth is entered into the multiplier field. Now OpenTX will be able to display the head speed. As mentioned before, the detailed steps to configure an RPM sensor is linked to in the description below. Once you know how to configure an RPM sensor in OpenTX, then configuring an RPM sensor to show head speed is basically the same. Once you have an RPM sensor, create a copy of it. Then enter the appropriate blades and multiplier values. Add the sensor to a telemetry screen. From the transmitter's main model view on the LCD screen, long press page to display the telemetry screen. So far in this video, we have assumed that the RPM sensor has been configured with the number of magnetic pole pairs correctly. Configuring this is documented in the RPM sensor manual. If, however, the number of magnetic pole pairs are set to 1 in hardware, 
Then in OpenTX, set the number of blades equal to the number of pole pairs to get the correct RPM. In the head speed equation, the blade's value will now be the number of main care teeth multiplied by the number of pole pairs. This brings us to the end of this video. Please like, subscribe and follow the links below. Stay safe and have fun.